Anderson Cooper 360. CNN weeknights at 8 and 10 Eastern. Again, our breaking news tonight. Just a few hours later this morning, local time Amanda Knox is expected to leave Italy. Earlier tonight, this was the scene. A van followed by the black Mercedes with her in the back departing the prison. Her conviction in the killing of Meredith Kircher overturned late today by an appeals court in Perugia where the murder took place and where the two women shared an apartment. Now, as you've seen already, this is being viewed as vindication for Amanda Knox. Recognition that justice was not done in her original trial, which for some is another way of saying that justice wasn't done either for the victim. Meredith Kircher's family feels she's become the forgotten victim. So it's very difficult to kind of keep her memory alive in all of this. Kircher was just 21 years old when she was raped and murdered. Her body found partially naked, her throat slashed. The brutality of what actually happened that night and the everything that Meredith must have felt that night, everything she went through, the fear and and the terror and not knowing why um and she didn't deserve that no one deserves that kircher was the youngest of four kids growing up she loved poetry gymnastics and ballet she was nice um she was clever and there's not enough me metaphors to say how nice she was her friends and family remember kircher as someone who always cared for others always wanted to lend a helping hand we perhaps feel it the most when we, we sort of meet up for things like her birthday and Christmas, which are obviously sort of a couple of months off now, and, and her absence is huge, really. Kircher, a third-year student at the University of Leeds, was in Italy to study European politics and Italian. To raise money for the trip, she worked a job at Gatwick Airport near her home south of London. Her father, John, told the Daily Telegraph, quote, She fought so hard to get out there. There were quite a few setbacks, but she was determined to go and kept persisting and eventually got what she wanted. Once in Perugia, Kircher moved into this villa with Amanda Knox. They I think they friends. were friendly, but I, I wouldn't say they in, were that close yeah, so because they, they were moving together. in different circles and at different levels as well. For Kircher, the study abroad program in Italy was the opportunity of a lifetime. Until that violent night, her life and future were stolen. And now that an Italian jury has thrown out the murder convictions of Knox and her then-boyfriend, Raffaella Salecito, Kircher's family is left wondering whether justice was served. I think it's difficult to sort of speak of forgiveness at this point. Um, as I say, four years on the one hand is a very long time. Um, on the other, it's, it's not, you know, it's still very, very raw. We need to find out what happened. And it, it's not really a question of reaching out or, or you know, joining them in anything. It, it is to find out what happened to Meredith and um, to get some justice for her, really.